Hello everyone, Sigler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm going to show you a uh, run, like a like one of those level f level 1 Tauren runs that uh, this gentleman right here, uh, Demarth from Crusader Strike in North America, from the Guild of Mayhem, uh, I, I think he he like he was the one hosting it at least it might have been the whole guild plan but I don't know um, but yeah he made like one of those uh, level one races so uh, it was it was called like world warper race so basically the trinket that you can see over here that drops from electric electric electrocutioner 6000 uh, and the U says, um, where could this device possibly take you? Oh well, who cares? And it's four hours cooldown. So the funny thing is, um, if you look at this item, there is a lot of different places you can spawn on. In like, in the world, it could be like inside of the fountain, the, the mouth from the fountain, like at the the dam between, uh, what do you call uh, Loch Modan and wetlands like inside of the mouth and stuff like that so the plan was to uh, like make a level one tauren and like make it from a specific finish line you're gonna see the video pretty soon uh, but like the the plan was to wait sorry that's not the wrong i'm gonna show that one later uh so this is like where we started so he used the item as you can see and he disappeared and where did he go he actually got to wetlands like uh, at the dark iron place like um, the the place where where you can farm the dark iron ordinance so there are level 30 elites so the plan was like get there as like first so the first place was 10 gold second place was five gold and third place was two gold so it was like just get there pretty much so yeah i was part of this race along with uh, i actually got notice of it from jerome um because i was like crafting i couldn't sleep because it's like very late for me right now so i couldn't sleep and i was just crafting chatting in different kind of streams and I stopped by his stream and he said that there was going to be this kind of race. I was like, why not? Could be fun. I'd never really done one of these races. So, like, my strategy was like, as soon as he teleported and he wet, he got to wetlands, my initial thought was the, the fastest way. And I, I, I did stick through it. And you're going to see it uh, because I can, like yeah like fast for forward and stuff so my plan was like okay get to first barons obviously try to death skip as much as possible so just so you can uh, skip a lot of the running as you can see here if i actually go back a bit there you see you see the lines it's actually an add-on i don't really know or it might be a weak aura but yeah, like you can see where the lines are with the death skip. So I was like, as soon as I was running past one of these, I I was actually like dying on purpose just to spawn like way up. So like if the line is here and I was running from here and as soon as I crossed it, I died and the, the spirit healer was like way up here. So it, like you could skip this because you could rest at the spirit. And not getting rest sickness because you're level one anyway so i got very lucky with my run i feel like uh let me continue there we go so yeah i, I got very lucky i'm gonna fast forward a bit because it's gonna be a very long video otherwise so yeah it was uh me and like three three others at first it was kind of funny because uh J jerome was uh, was like oh i'm gonna get the world buff from thunder bluff uh didn't work that well for you did it <laughs> but yeah so and a lot of people like as soon as we got to camp Taraj or whatever you said people were running down and i was like 
where the hell are you going? And I just kept running and I was like, why are they running downwards in Thunder, in uh, Barrens? If they are like close to the Camp Torajo or whatever you call it, like below Crossroads. And I was like, okay, let me die, spawn Crossroad, go to Durotar, die, get Zeppelin to Undercity. But I was like, why are they running downwards? And then I, it like struck me as soon as I got to Durotar, like, oh my god, it's like Alliance have a boat from Theramore to Wetlands. It's like, I was like, oh my god, I'm so gonna lose this one. But at the same time, I was like, but there, that's like a level, that's like a, a town as Alliance. They could die a lot there. So, and as you can see here in the video, I just to make sure that people don't think I did cheat or anything, I was like, do not help. And I didn't want any help. I didn't want to get like accused of anything. So I, I was like, I want to do a, a legit run. So, and yeah, I pretty much like, uh, there was like three others going the same direction as me, but they did not do the death skip. I don't think they knew about it. They were just running and I was death skipping all over the place. So after just a short while, I was like, you can see here, as soon as I crossed into Durotar, actually gonna, oh, actually gonna sh switch place there. I was like, okay, let me die because, because you, you see, I crossed the line there. There, I crossed the line. I made sure and I actually stopped here just to make sure. And once I did, see, I got teleported up here and I just missed the zeppelin there. <clears throat> and <laughs> if, yeah, I was very lucky because I was like, oh my God. Please let the other one been struggling and stuff like that. So I was like the first one to get to the Zeppelin because at this point I was like, I might actually win this depending on if the people were getting on the boat or not. And by this point, I think there was like someone that got there already. Uh, but yeah, and I was like, come on, I'm doing a race, come on stuff like that so that was very funny and right at this point uh, I don't think you can see it I might I, I could probably enlarge it a bit just so you can see the chat at this point because it was it was so fun <clears throat> and now I was like because he was so freaking close I was like <laughs> you can make it come on <laughs> no, don't leave me. No. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was uh, kind of fun. <laughs> but yeah, and I, I at this point I was like, I'm the only one on the zeppelin, and keep in mind there was like ten, maybe ten people doing the run, so it wasn't that many. And I mean, sure it was only ten gold if I would win, but it would be like fun to win. So at this point, I was like, I might get a chance here. So at this point, I was actually like, okay, let me try and die. This was a bit of a mistake. I should not have done this. I should actually have waited a bit uh, like I was jumping off a bit too soon because I was like, okay, let me corpse run here. But that I didn't realize that there was going to be like a lot of red mobs around there. So I don't think it mattered in the end, but yeah, I should have run, like waited for the Zeppelin pretty much and just run, I think, because this lost me time here because I spawned and then pretty much instantly died. Yeah, because see, I had to run again. Yeah, there, but after that, I was like, okay, let me try and get into the the town for uh for the hordes in 
in uh, Silver Pine Forest. So I, I was like, I have to cross this line first and then die. But this is a place where I lost a lot of time. Not the most place, because we were going to be there. And at this point, I feel like I I probably should have swam, swimmed across the sea. Well, the, the place there. Just to get to Hillsprite Foothill earlier. So that might have been like faster for me. Because you see, I, I did spawn over here. So yeah, that might have saved me a lot of time. But yeah, it is what it is. I know it for next time that I'm going to try it. But yeah, so at this point I was just like, just trying to get there and I died. And I run there and I, I died. And this is a point where I got a lo ahead a lot. And then as, as soon as I got into hill spread, I was like, okay, let's die. And spawn in, in Torrent Mill. Because that's a long walk that I skipped. It's pretty much the whole zone. And this is another place where I... This took so freaking long to get past. This is probably the place where it synced me the most. But yeah, it was like I cannot really take the road anyway. So I might just as well cross as... Yeah, as good as possible. But this is like... I died a lot of time here. It was kind of funny because at this point there was actually one racing me. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I was just like running and running and running. And I was like teasing. And he was like, it was named Cash Cow or something. Like Cash Cow, but it didn't have the H. And... He got like super lucky, so he actually like skipped pretty much everything throughout Hillsprat Futil without the corpse skipping, like death skip. So he got like up to my point here. See, like he, he was already here pretty much. You can see it over here, I think. Yeah, he was already there. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the hell? <clears throat> because you see there, the, that there was his corpse so yeah and as soon as I got into hinterlands I tried to die just to skip as much as possible because at this point I am pretty close to like the bridge and keep in mind like on the other side of this bridge the the bridge between Arata Highlands and Wetlands at like after the bridge is the actual place where he was uh, Dimarth so, yeah, it was very funny. And I was running here. And I died a couple of times here. And, like, see, he got the second place over here. I got here. And this is a place where I was like, oh, come on, come on. Because they were standing behind this big house over here. And look at this. I die here. And they are right there. But at this point, me running there, I was like, it's like, I realize that I'm actually going to get the third place. So that was very fun. Like, I'm realizing because I'm looking, where is everyone? And I realized that, oh my God, they are so, like, I can actually run a bit and then spawn on him. And at this point, I was like, I, I, this is the point where I realize it. And yeah, you can see, you can see the text. <laughs> so yeah, this is where he spawned. And I was like spawning here and he traded me the two gold that I won. So yeah, that was very fun. That's a, that it was a very fun experience, and like I'm gonna link a like a put a link in the description below for he, the Discord and uh, not n maybe not the whole Discord but like the actual channel where he has the where they have the actual like uh, events 
because it looks like it's a whole like guild channel and i don't want to like put like invite everyone to someone else's discord but just to the actual group like the event thing i think that's gonna work and that's you can see there there this is like when i realized that i won well i like celebrating and yeah and i was just like asking what discord and stuff like that so yeah so yes at this point i uh I, uh, I'm gonna show you. Let's see here. I'm gonna remove uh, this one. Yes. And I'm gonna do like this and this. Here we go. Sigler Bork Wetlands. Hey. As you can see, Wetlands. So. And I, I don't think I want to log on to it, but it has the two gold because if I log on to it, I will probably die because there's a lot of lines there and there is elites there. But yeah, it was a very fun experience. And we're going to take a look at what like happened to Jerome in Jerome's stream. I was watching his stream at the same time as I was running to see his, pro his perspective because he was having a lot of trouble with the like getting onto the boat because he was taking the thermal so yeah it, this was kind of fun because the one of the winners did actually like log into a priest and he was mind controlling him <laughs> <clears throat> just to screw with him a bit <laughs> so yeah that was fun that, that was a very, very, very fun experience. So, wait, where am I? Where the hell am I? I cannot even, I can't even see myself. What the hell? There I am. So, yeah, a uh, big shout out to, to this little fellow right here for making the event from uh, the Guild Mayhem. It was a very fun experience and I'm looking forward to doing some more events from you. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this rather long video, but I felt like I, I really wanted to make this kind of video since I was taking part of this big race. So yeah, I hope to see you in the future in the next video. Fork Bork. <laughs>